world's most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shop, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, We're a little Bob. slow to get that out today, Brad. Well, it's Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about the Dirty Dozen, 12 mm. fruits and vegetables you should actually buy organic because we're going to talk about why. Why? Sure. There's, there's, I have a good reason. You do? Yeah. Okay. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please mm -hmm. take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. And you're going to want to join us on our social media sites. Uh, Brad can get it out here. Uh, because especially we're always doing a giveaway, and right now, once again, we're doing the Sleep Ovation mattress giveaway. This is just a little sample of one. Right. So you can see it's got individual mattresses, and it's got airflow channels. You better believe it. So. And they're very comfortable besides. Yeah. Okay, so, Bob. Well, I'm going to move this out of the way because this messes up with our light. I almost stumbled on myself. All right. Yeah, the aging process is fun. <laughs> okay. All right. This list was put together by the Environmental Working Group, and it took the information off the U.S. Department of Agriculture list. Sure. So this is legit. And what they did is they actually ranked fruits and vegetables, produce, from 1 to like 47. Okay. If you want the full list, it's at www.foodnews.org. Okay, good. Foodnews.org. Very good. So it ranks them from 1 to, and, and the top 12 are the ones they recommend that you Actually, you should buy organic because there's as many as 47 different chemicals they found out on each piece of fruit or produce. So they just randomly took these ve fruits or vegetables and tested what is on yeah, the what's surface. On them yet. And, and they've found as many as 67 chemicals on some of them. Ooh. But at least 47. And so, you know, if you want to avoid a chemical cocktail when you're eating, <laughs> uh, you're going to want to go organic on these. So do you want to pull that list out, Brad, here? Yeah. When you said the dirty dozen, you know, if you're 50 years old or older, you probably were thinking the that movie. movie yeah. yeah, with Charles Bronson. Charles Bronson had a whole bunch of stars on oh, it, Brad. Upside let's, down. Let's do it right here. Well, sorry. So, and a lot of these, you can, it actually makes sense because they don't have covering on them, and it's really hard to clean like a strawberry. Oh, it, yeah. So it, strawberries are number one. It was the worst one on the list. Um, one that I use all the time is spinach. And uh, so my wife and I bought organic this week. And sure. I, I was always reluctant because it seemed like it didn't last as long. Yeah. But this one, I don't know why. We got a batch and it's just as fresh now as it was at the start of the week. Maybe so, it got mixed up. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it did. <laughs> okay. Next. Uh, the other one, nectarines and apples. That's a big one for me, too. I've been... Um, and I... I get the sense from what I read that you really can't clean the apple well enough. It seems like you could because it got that shiny kind of a I know, coat, you know, skin. They, they said they tested these after they pressure washed them with like high pressure washing techniques put up by the U.S. government. So I I, I don't know. I'm envisioning that five horsepower pressure washer yeah, yeah, right. on my deck. It must be a little different than yeah, that. Yeah, because that but. would just peel the apple right <laughs> off, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, grapes, peaches. Cherries, pears, tomatoes, tomato. Mm. Which one is it? Tomato, uh, tomato. Tomato. Uh, celery, potatoes, and sweet bell peppers. So Potatoes too, huh? Yeah, I mean, because they're grown underground, so I wonder how that yeah, all, all sucks up. it up. Yeah. You know, there's there's yeah. chemicals in the ground, yep. Brad. So. Yep. All right, but we're also going to give you the clean 15. Okay. Now, so these, these were ones that were on the bottom of the list and they found very little traces of chemicals on these okay so they thought these were the ones you wouldn't have to uh and you know, when i look at the list and you guys can read it i don't have to read it you got it okay forward a little bit is that your is that your yeah. handwriting or did liz do that's it? my handwriting yeah. oh that's good that's not good bad for you, Bob. Uh, yeah but i look at what i eat on here and um i eat um asparagus sometimes sure i eat a lot of broccoli and a mm. lot of cauliflower. So I'm glad to see that those are avocados. Other. I don't eat avocados. No, really, you don't like guacamole? I don't. I don't. I really don't. Oh wow! I know it's really good for you. Yeah, I, I, but uh, I, I just haven't done it. Sweet corn that makes me feel good. Pineapple. These, there's a lot of them on here. I really, yeah, you're enjoy. still safe, Brad. You're not. Yeah. Uh, you're not going to start melting down from a chemical breakdown. Oh, kiwis! I really enjoy. It. I'm surprised yeah. that. They're in the clean 15, but that's good. I do, good. too. That, and they're they, fuzzy little things. Yeah. They, look, they look like they could be sponges and just suck, suck everything right. up. Yeah, yeah. Honeydew's well. got this hard, harder shell on the outside. Yeah, that, so that so. makes sense. Anyway, so we're trying to keep you guys healthy, fit, pain-free, and, uh, you know, chemical-free, too. Right, exactly. So, so 
Thanks, everybody, for watching. We're going to do a short one today. Oh, wow. That is short, Bob.